Nick here with tinywoodstove.com. I'm psyched. We have our five kilowatt ovens in stock. This is a uh, retrofitted oven option that fits on top of our, our five kilowatt. So we're gonna do an unboxing, show you how to um, retrofit that to your stove. And uh, yeah, let's dig in. All right, you'll notice inside here you have a, uh, you have a hot pad. This is a little um, uh, fire rope to, uh, to seal up the bottom as you put it on your flange. We'll talk about that in a bit. And then inside here, you have a, a stainless grate. You have two, you can put um, pans on the top surface and then there's two different uh, racks you can use. And then you have a, a pan. Pan can fit on the bottom or any of those. So you could, for example, you know, roast some veggies down there and then have another pan and do cornbread or something on this pan. So in our, our prototype that we had made, we had the, um, the interior painted uh, with the same paint that's on the, uh, the exterior of the stove. Um, and as we talked to the the paint manufacturer we asked if that would be acceptable in an oven application and they uh, they discouraged it um, the uh, the paint cures at certain temperatures and it can off gas and inside a kind of confined space for you know baking um, you know they, they said it wasn't FDA approved I've seen other ovens that have had you know that have um, you know that are painted on the interior um, so, I mean, it may be okay. We weren't real comfortable with it. I wouldn't personally want it. So we had the interior just left raw carbon steel. You can see there's just a little bit of, um, you know, surface rust there. So your stove will come with a little bottle of linseed oil in an applicator. And you can just kind of rub that around and um, that will help uh, that will help kind of cure the steel and uh, minimize some of that surface rust. And um, you can always take a little, uh, you know, steel wool pad or something and just kind of rough that up. Um, but the, you know, the nature of the inside of the oven, you know, there's not going to be a whole lot of moisture because of the heat. It's going to evaporate. Um, so, yeah, we wanted to do a, a stainless interior, but because the exterior is carbon. Um, we weren't able to get good consistent welds to do a stainless interior box inside the uh, the carbon body. So yeah, that's the uh, that's the inside of the oven. Just like your stove, the oven has a a top and a, a rear exit. The um, the flue flange from your stove will uh, will mount to whatever um, whatever side you want to vent on. If you're in a a real narrow type application, you'll want to vent out the top. But if you want to use that whole top uh, surface area for cooking, then uh, you'll want to vent out the back. So you'll just mount that flue flange onto the back and then on the bottom of the stove, we'll mount to, to this. So let's go ahead and remove that flue flange. We'll flip this over and show you the uh, the fitting and how it goes together. So to, um, to get these out, I'm going to remove the, the baffle. You can see the baffle there. The baffle rests on top of the, uh, the air wash manifold and on top of the uh, uh, secondary air plate. So to remove that, you just push it up, pull it all the way forward. I need to suck. And then it'll, it'll drop down. So to, to install that, it's the opposite. You'd lift it up all the way forward kind of set it back on that rear air plate and you're golden. Okay, we got that off. Now we'll um, put the flue flange on the back. We wanna exit out the back. We wanna use the whole top as a cooking surface. So put the flue flange on there and then we'll bolt the oven to the stove. All 
Okay, we flipped the oven over and you can see this little, uh, this kind of little flange drops down into the top and then you have this little, um, um, little bolting plate that you bolt from the underside of the oven and that secures it. And then the little fire rope is attached to, um, to this flange so you get a nice seal between that and the stove. So the, the oven has uh, three chambers around it, actually four. So you have a, uh, a chamber on the bottom, both the sides, the back, um, and then the top, I guess that's five. Um, so the flue gases travel around um, basically the box that is the oven inside. This allows the oven to get very hot, but it also allows those flue gases to reach the top of the, uh, the baking oven so that you can use that top as a cook surface. We could have just built a box and set it on top and it would do great at baking, but it wouldn't be very effective for cooking on that top surface. I got the got the oven on there and then I'm just gonna line up the, the little bolt plate with the uh, the pattern on the underside of the flue flange and then it's threaded on that bolt plate so then I'll just uh, screw these bad boys down and then it's ready to go so there you have it there is the five kilowatt cook stove combo um, five kilowatt stove with the uh, the optional add-on oven and then um, yeah we're venting out the uh, the rear so we can use that top as a cook surface and then stay tuned for uh, water boiler option for this and cooking with a, uh, a wood-fired cook stove is is an art <laughs> I, I've, uh, I've done it a little bit and um, it just takes takes a bit to um, yeah it's not like you just you know crank on your oven to 500 degrees and you're golden um, you have to get the the oven to that temp and um, yeah so it's managing your fire you may crack the door a little bit um, or you may reduce time if the heat is uh, you know is a, is a, is a bit more um, but as I use it more I'll pass on um, you know any tips and tricks that's all for now.